And this is kind of like a, a larger question I really wanted to ask you about creativity. So just bear with me for a second. But I always wonder if creative people, when they create a thing, they push it as far as they can take it. And then if they feel like that's kind of the best version of the thing that they envisioned, they kind of want to start pushing something else in a different direction. And I wonder if you have thoughts about that, because the progression of Vsauce from what I just laid out to Minefield, where now you're creating a huge show where you're traveling all over the world, you're going to Japan, you're, you know, you're going to South America. Um, it's just 10 times what you were doing previously on Vsauce. Uh, what your thoughts are on that just journey, I guess, as a creative person. Right. I, I mean, I can't speak for anyone but myself. And I think all creative people, all people are creative, first of all, and all people are different. And so there are people who create one kind of thing their entire life. And that's amazing. And there are others who make a new thing every day. That's totally different <laughs> from the last. And for me, I think there's always a hint of trying to stand out. I was a class clown in high school and I would make sarcastic remarks and do goofy things to get attention. And so now put that personality in an education role and I'm always looking for, all right, well, what is no one doing? <laughs> and at first there was this big open niche of educational content made exclusively for the internet. And there were some early channels out there like uh, Smarter Every Day, Minute Physics, they were out there making stuff. Uh, Veritasium was there too, right? All these kind of early channels. And there was nothing else like it to watch on YouTube. And we all kind of became friends by mutually promoting each other. Then, you know, more and more educational content starts happening. And back when I was doing question videos that were kind of silly questions like, you know, why do we kiss? Why do humans wear clothing? Uh, what does human taste like? Those were really fun. But then... Uh, all of a sudden, every other video on YouTube was some silly question, right? What if you did this? Uh, how many times can you do this? And to stand out, I had to change. But I wouldn't even call it a strategy. I would call it sort of just me changing myself. You know, I've grown up a lot in the last eight, nine, ten years. And I started to say, you know what, I really want to try something a little more challenging. If I'm not challenged by my what I'm currently working on, I shouldn't be working on it. That's how I feel. I don't think you have to feel that way. But each new thing I tackle, especially on Vsauce 1, is harder for me and harder and harder. <laughs> and so when I did the Bonaktarsky video, I was like, you know what? I'm going to see if I can really break down how this paradox works, what the problem in this paradox really is, not just as a statement on Wikipedia, but I really want to read all the papers on it. And it took me months. And I even got together with Hannah Fry, a mathematician out in the UK. And I just like literally we went to lunch and I like presented the video live to her and to see if it made sense. Can you follow this? Like, what am I missing? What needs to be explained better? And she helped a lot. And that was sort of the beginning of me saying, all right, now I want to take on things that no one else is taking on because it's just too, too, it's just a big challenge. And so I'm extremely lucky that I can take time to make things. Not everyone is in that position. There's a real push. I think a lot of people feel to always be making things, even if it means that you kind of have to put a little less love into each thing. If you don't, you're going to get forgotten, right? If you don't, then the YouTube YouTube algorithm is going to like chew you up and throw you out. But I don't really buy that. You know, Taylor Swift doesn't make a new music video every week or every day. She might only make a couple a year, but they still get a billion views each. So there's clearly something more to it than just make lots of stuff all the time, even if you don't really feel like it's what you want to be making. But, you know, every content creator is so different. If you're doing daily vlogs, then of course do them every day. That's the entire point of the format. But if you're trying to, like, tackle Bonaktarski in a new way that sort of allows people to come in not being that familiar with all of the concepts and leaves them up to speed, <laughs> it's going to take a while. So, you know, I just am so lucky that I can do that. And now the Dong channel gives me an outlet to make the quicker things that I, I want to just talk about this now. 
But I'm not quite ready to talk about conservation laws and calculus of variations yet, because that's something that is harder to do and still be, you know, widely accessible.